The world is constantly evolving, and so are our ways of eating. With countless health challenges out there and new diseases emerging every day, people are more concerned about their health and overall well-being than ever before. After all, it's normal to want to look after yourself and make sure you stay as healthy as possible. However, with so many different diets out there, how do you know which is the best for you? Although the goal of every diet is generally the same, it's important to find one that is sustainable for your lifestyle. This is the main reason why so many eating methods exist. The Asgardian way of eating, also known as the Nordic diet in our culture, is a form of eating that is similar to the Mediterranean diet, which is another popular eating method. Its popularity stems from its historical impact and success, which is a great benchmark for choosing a diet. Welcome back to the Good Health Gorilla. In today's video, we will be going over how to lose weight like a Viking by choosing the Asgardian diet. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below, letting us know what other topics you would like for us to cover on the channel. We are always eager to hear your suggestions and hope that the general advice we provide today will help you reach your weight loss goals. What is the Nordic diet? The Nordic diet is a special type of diet that is quite similar to the Mediterranean diet. According to Dr. Frank Hu, a professor of nutrition, it is a diet that focuses on food sourced from the Nordic countries such as Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Iceland. Although some people have argued that some of the foods used in the Nordic diet were not originally grown in the Nordic countries, it is a fact that every food used in the Nordic diet can be sourced from the modern Nordic countries. It focuses on a lot of healthy foods and less junk. It discourages the use of processed foods and sweeteners, which are generally tagged as unhealthy. It directs its focus on healthy foods like whole grains such as barley, rye, and oats. It also uses a lot of berries, vegetables, fatty fish, and legumes. Some foods can be consumed in reduced amounts, and this includes red meat, dairy, and eggs. History of the Nordic Diet The Nordic Diet can be traced back to many centuries ago. Although it was officially created in 2004 by a group of scientists, nutritionists, and chefs, the Nordic countries urgently needed an effective way to help obese people lose weight and reduce unsustainable farming practices. The new Nordic diet was designed based on the Baltic Sea Diet Pyramid and uses a lot of principles from the old Nordic diet. Based on new research that has been conducted on certain foods, some foods that were largely consumed in the old Nordic diet have been brought to a minimum. For instance, people that practiced the old Nordic diet, like the Vikings, ate a lot of dairy and meat, which are to be consumed in limited amounts in the new Nordic diet. However, the Asgardians are miniature gods with a small g, an alien race with a different biological makeup than us humans, so they get to stick with the old Baltic Sea diet with their dairy and red meats. The old Nordic diet was practiced by the Vikings and the Asgardians. So if you want to lose weight like a Viking, or you want to age slowly like an Asgardian, the Nordic diet is where to start from. How the Vikings used the Nordic diet. When you think of the Vikings, you should also think Nordic. And when you think Nordic, you should think of the Nordic diet. That's because the Vikings originated from areas that became modern day Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, which is part of the Nordic countries. The Vikings were generally termed as gluttonous, and maybe it's not even a surprise. Although they only had two meals a day, they ate well when they wanted to. The first meal is tagged the day meal, while the last meal is tagged the night meal. The Vikings didn't have a specification for what they ate as day meals or night meals. They just made sure they ate only the healthy foods. They loved their dairy and ate it in different forms. And they didn't joke with their meats too. Berries are a part of their lives and so are vegetables and cereals. These foods are all part of the Nordic diet and also a part of the Vikings meals too. How the Asgardians used the Nordic diet. It is no news that the 1500 years old Thor never cared about table manners. He only cared about what he was taking in. Going on to analyze that he was using the Nordic diet, even though it wasn't specified, we can find that Thor consumed foods that are low in fat and sugars. He also placed more priority on foods high in fiber, fish, and various kinds of seafood. Let's just forget about Fat Thor, who was depressed from losing everything. Sounds just like the Nordic diet to us. After all, the Asgardians are pioneers of the Norse mythology, so it's only right that they eat Nordic. They consume a lot of food per day, and the Nordic diet does not focus on calorie restrictions. Like the Vikings, they have two major meals, which are the day meal and the night meal. The day meal is the first meal eaten during the day, irrespective of when it was eaten. It is often lighter and can be consumed early in the morning or later in the day. The night meals are eaten before bed and are considered as the main meal. These two major meals do not take into account that they eat other meals of various proportions in between. It's just that those meals are very casual, enough to keep them from getting hungry. 
The difference between the Mediterranean and the Nordic diet. Many nutritionists agree that the Nordic diet is similar to the Mediterranean diet with only a few minor differences. The Nordic diet emphasizes a lot of high quality carbs, berries and fruits, vegetables, and fatty fish, while limiting the consumption of eggs, dairy, sweets, processed foods, and red meat. They focus only on high quality foods that are considered to be both healthy and sustainable. You can find a lot of similarities between the Nordic diet and the Mediterranean diet until you look at the type of oil they use. While the Mediterranean diet uses extra virgin olive oil, the Nordic diet favors rapeseed oil, also known as canola oil. But the good thing is that both oils are one of the healthiest oils in the world. Pretty amazing, right? This diet pattern is healthy to use, especially since it contains plenty of plant-based foods that nutritionists always encourage us to eat. And the fact that it shares a lot of similarities with the Mediterranean diet, which is considered to be the best eating pattern for preventing heart disease and weight loss. Although, there is no proof that it can do that to the same extent that the Mediterranean diet would. How does the Nordic diet work? Principles of the Nordic diet. Every diet was designed around a principle, and so was the Nordic diet. This eating method encourages you to consume more fruits and vegetables like berries, cabbage, carrots, beans, peas, and lentils. It also encourages you to eat home-cooked meals, since this will allow you to control what you eat. When on the Nordic diet, you need to consume whole grains like oats, rye, and barley, which offer fiber, minerals, and vitamins. You will also need to cut down on meat consumption and eat only in moderation. Meat consumption should be replaced with seafood like salmon, mackerel, and herring, which are good sources of omega-3. Focus on foods from the wild like miner's lettuce, stinging nettles, and huckleberries while also eating organic options. Avoid food additives and eat seasonal foods as much as you can and eat less packaged foods to help reduce the waste produced. Remember, the Nordic diet also emphasizes environmental sustainability, losing weight like a Viking. The Nordic diet increases the consumption of proteins, minerals, and vitamin levels, which are essential in the weight loss process. Research conducted on 147 obese people showed that those on Nordic diets lost 10.4 pounds and those on the Danish diet only lost 3.3 pounds, which is only about 1.5 kilograms. This further emphasizes its weight loss benefits. So, what do you stand to gain, or lose in this case, while on a Nordic diet? Benefits of the Nordic diet. The Nordic diet has a lot of benefits, and among them is that it helps to combat high blood pressure, balance cholesterol levels, and reduce inflammation. According to Dr. Louisa Peter, since the Nordic diet uses a lot of fish, fresh fruits, and vegetables, it is high in omega-3 benefits which can lower blood pressure, increase good cholesterol, and decrease inflammation levels in the body. In a six-month study on obese people, the Nordic diet reduced systolic and diastolic blood pressure by 5.1 and 3.2 millimeters of mercury, respectively. The World Health Organization also found that the Nordic diet reduces the risk of cancer, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. There is also a possibility that the Nordic diet will help women get pregnant. According to Lauren Monarker, a registered dietitian, a diet that is low in processed food and refined carbohydrates, along with eating mostly plant-based and seafood-based proteins, along with high consumption of fruits and vegetables, is correlated with increased chances of pregnancy. The Nordic diet is also environmentally sustainable, as it focuses on the consumption of fresh local ingredients, and as a result, fewer greenhouse gases are emitted and uses up fewer natural resources. The Nordic diet does not contain as much research as the Mediterranean diet, but the supporting evidence available shows it's an amazing diet to consider. So there you have it, the Nordic diet, which the Asgardians and the Vikings used widely and has been modified, works incredibly well to keep the body in a good shape. It might not have enough research to support its effectiveness compared to other forms of eating, but you can rest assured that it's getting there. According to Dr. Frank Hu, people who like berries, rye bread, and canola oil should go ahead and enjoy a Nordic style diet rather than waiting 10 years to get more evidence. In essence, the 10 years waiting for research to prove its effectiveness could turn out to be 10 years of losing out on healthy meals. Do you know who has tried the Nordic diet? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's video, check out this related video to see more. Until next time.